to my channel. So today we are going into the Jaclyn Hill Palette Volume 2. I am actually excited to get into this palette. If you follow me on my personal Instagram, I did a poll there asking to see if you guys wanted to see this palette. I was kind of on the fence, honestly. Nothing wrong with the palette. It is a beautiful palette. It just kind of gave me blood sugar vibes, which is totally fine. That's not why. I just felt like, do I really need it? I don't know. You guys know. I've been going through a lot of new makeup, so I was just kind of like, Jackie, think about it for a second. So I did a poll and I let you guys decide. You guys wanted to see it. So before we get into it, please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified every time I upload a new video or as often as you like to be reminded about my videos. My videos are here for whenever you guys want to watch them. And please don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family. But let's get into it. I'm excited. I got some other little goodies that... I'm debating about trying in this video or not, but we shall see. So let's zoom in. I'll be back primed and ready to go. Okay, you guys, so I'm primed and I'm ready to go. I just primed my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot Soft Ochre, and I do put a little bit of Airspun Translucent Powder to set it. Before I zoom completely in, though, I want to show you the unicorn itself. So it just says the Jaclyn Hill. It has the Palette Volume 2, the little Morphe logo right there. And then on the back, you have a little message from Jaclyn, and then a picture right here. And I do like this little, like, I don't know mirrored type of edge going on the palette itself looks like this almost exactly or yeah almost exactly um to the front of the unicorn and then the inside of the palette looks like this let me go ahead and zoom in a little bit more get it more in focus for you guys that way you guys could see the colors in detail so we have the palette right here so as you can see it is like it's a gorgeous palette if I had a lot more space, I wouldn't have even thought about it. But you guys, I'm trying to get better with that. I'm trying to think before I buy. So going into the first shade, I'm going into the shade Perfectionist. And I'm just taking it on a fluffy brush. And we're just going to apply this here. So I did pick up some other little Morphe goodies. You guys, I can never just like behave. Like I always have to get something else. It's so annoying. I'm like, what's wrong with you, Jackie? But I wanna know what the foundation is like. So maybe I will just go ahead and try it out today. You guys, this package just got here. So I was like, let me get to filming. So once I have that shade on, we're gonna move on to the shade Heart On and I'm just gonna use the same brush. And that is like the watermelon-y color. It looks like a gorgeous watermelon. And then I'm gonna change my brush to something a little bit more dense, just cause I really wanna pack that shade on here. So now I'm just going to take this little fluffy brush, this one is by Real Techniques, and I'm going into the shade My Man, and you guys, I just realized you guys might be able to hear the new modem. We've had internet issues, it was a whole thing, I'm sorry, but I think you might be able to hear it. I'm sure I put some music over it if you can. So I'm just going to dab this here, and then we're going to go into the shade Oh hello, and we're just taking that same brush. And I feel like that's not dark enough, so I'm gonna go into crazy. And if the orange gets covered up, that's fine. I'll go back and add later. I just want to give that a little depth right there. And then just because I can, I'm going to take a smaller dense brush and going into Temptus and then we're just going to really add it at the waterline and then blend. 
now I'm going to go in with my Jeffree Star Magic Star Concealer and I'm just going to cut my crease. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a flat brush and we're going to dip back into my man. And as you can see, mine got all blurred out, which is totally fine. And then I'm also going to go into the shade Tipsy Girl. So once I have that in, we're going back into Crazy and Tempted, and then we're just going to darken this up a little bit. I don't want it to be too black and harsh, so I'm kind of like laying those colors down and then going over with the first shade, which again was the shade Heart On. Once I have that done, I just cleaned up a little bit. We're going to go into some glitter. I have like a little peachy kind of tone one and then an orange tone one. So I'm just going to take this Ulta Beauty glitter and kind of go right where I cut my crease. That is why I cut my crease. I know you can barely tell and this probably wouldn't transfer, but it just helps out when you're going to go and apply the glitter. Sorry if I go orange. So my glitter is not completely dry so I'm just going to be careful but now I'm going to take just any little flat detailer brush and I'm going into I'm In It and Certified. So both of them just because I don't want too much of the I'm In It glitter but I do just want a little something and that'll just be our brow bone highlight. Okay, so I let this finish drying. I'm going to go ahead and finish my other eye and then I'll be back so we can try out that Morphe foundation and concealer and see what that's all about. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, you guys, so I got that other eye done and I already primed. I just put the step one mattifying primer on my nose and then the rest of the face has the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. Um, I just, I don't know, I primed that way I could set in. But we're going to go in and we're going to try this Morphe foundation and the concealer. I actually haven't gotten a chance to try this. I've been wanting to pick it up and then I just, I never do, you guys. Also, I've been loving my Tati Beauty Blendiful, but I've also been loving this Makeup Geek sponge. I'll link it down below. You guys, I don't know what about it. I feel like it's, I don't know, different. Like, I feel like other sponges that I've tried, like, you can tell subtle differences, but this sponge, for some reason, it reminds me of the Blendiful. It's like, the Blendiful in a sponge form. I don't know. So, I did do the little Morphe test thing to try to figure out my foundation. I'm trying to go more neutral because I feel like sometimes some of these foundations are too, like, golden or yellow toned for me. I do feel like my undertones are, like, olive-y, gold-y kind of vibes. But I was trying to go more neutral since my powder does have pigment like it is a foundation, technically. So... I just try to go a little bit more neutral, but I did take the test and they give you a few to choose from. So this is the F2.110 and yeah, I mean, it looks like a good shade match. So I'm just going to take a little bit at a time and I'm just taking my sponge. It is already damp. Oh, on my face I felt like that looked a little too white, but on my hand I felt like it looks like my... L'Oreal True Match. And today I did go in with the Hydro Grip Primer because you guys know that I actually really love that primer. I try to switch it up on here for you guys as often as I can because honestly most of the time I forget and I end up using like the same primer. <laughs> Okay, so now going in with the concealer, same thing, I did the little test, and I picked the C2 
2.35. This one looks a little too cool toned in the container, so we'll see what happens. And the reason that I picked this concealer actually is because they have a little chart and they try to balance it out with the foundation and concealer. So we shall see. went ahead and set that with my airspun. I will be having um, a video on setting powders, comparing setting powders. Um, just a couple. I have one that was recommended to me and then I have my airspun that I absolutely love and it's a drugstore. And then I'm just gonna go ahead set my face like I always do. Okay guys, so at this point I'm going to go ahead and finish setting my face, apply my blush and highlight, and I'll be back so we can go ahead and finish the under eye. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I finished my face. So for my blush today, I actually went into the shade Dance Party in the palette, and I just wanted something brighter, again, in true Jaclyn fashion, a lot of blush, and then a nice pop of highlight from her Jaclyn collection Jaclyn Hill cosmetic I, you guys you guys know that I'm confused still <laughs> so moving on to the bottom waterline so we're gonna go into the shade no joke you guys I really wanted to I don't know kind of come in here and go a little bit into the pinks and the orange and a little bit of that dark color I didn't really build it up super dark but the reason was because I feel like everybody's gonna gravitate towards like the purple and the yellow and I wanted to give you guys a look that wasn't already maybe out there. I mean, who knows? I might be wrong. I haven't even been watching YouTube that much, so people could be out here already with bright pink, reddish tone, orange tone looks. So once I have that on, we're going to go into the shade Talia. And I'm just going to kind of like really swirl my brush in there. Oh, okay, hold on. Am I on crack? Okay, I'm taking my brush. Oh, I don't know if you guys could see. There's barely anything on the brush. I'm swirling. There's barely anything on the brush. Okay, so I feel like... Let me... Okay, so when I swatch it, it swatches pretty okay. I just thought it was going to be more of a punch. It's definitely buildable, but in the pan it just looked so bright and metallic. So I want to go ahead and pop that into the inner corner. So I'm just going to rub, 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 and then, like, I don't know if you guys can see this. There's, like, nothing on the brush. You guys can see I'm pushing. Okay, let's try a different brush. Let's go in with... I'm going to go in with this little detailer flat brush. And let's see if that helps the shade here. So I'm going to try to load up my brush here. Um, hello? Okay. Don't do this to me. <laughs> I'm like, don't do this to me. Okay, y'all. Okay, I'm dipping in. You guys, I already made a crease in here. That was like a million swipes. Um, let me go right here. There's a little pink, but just so you guys can see. Okay, that's gonna get on my nerves. Okay, whatever. I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna try to keep building it. I mean, it's doing a little something. It's okay, maybe you just have to build it a little. Okay. 
Okay, y'all, I kind of had to grab a chunk of it. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and I did the other eye. That shade was kind of annoying me. I don't know, it kind of just threw me off. But I did pop a little bit of this. This is actually a lip liner. Um, just a light shade in the waterline. Not too heavily, just so it looked a little bit more complete on the bottom. And then I'm going to go ahead and put on my mascara and my eyeliner. And I will be back in just a second. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look. I went ahead and I popped on those magnetic lashes. If I'm being honest, if you could tell in the little corner here, it's already later on in the night. So I'm not going to leave this makeup on much longer but I did want to go in and swatch a few of these shades for you so this is the shade drama queen bougie and get ready with me so this one right here is not as pigmented as the other two here's the Talia shade swatch swatched it looks amazing but with the brush, it's like you barely pick up any pigment. You like really have to dig in there. So this is the shade Empowered and the shade A Moment. So again, Empowered and A Moment. So this is the shade Not My Journey, Lolly Mama, and then we have the shade Next. So the mattes are pretty okay, pretty good. So now going into the shade Homeboy, the shade G Money, and the shade Flawed and Odd. Okay, you guys. So that was a few of the swatches of the palette. So now a cup, a little bit of my final thoughts. I just want to remind you guys, this is just me. Oh my god, I got stuck in there. Um, so as far as the shimmers, honestly, they were just like, eh, okay. I feel like, yeah, if you went in with your finger, they work a little bit better. I didn't try them clearly with a brush, but like the yellow one looks way better swatched with the finger than with the brush. So I feel like that's one of her little new formulas, and that's great. I still like something that I could work with with a brush personally. If you guys don't mind going in there with your finger, if your fingers are smaller than mine, you really be able to get in there but I have big hands big fingers and so I needed to be able to work a little bit with the brush as well but that's just my two cents on that as far as these shimmers here and like even these ones right here um like shimmer satins I'm not sure what the proper finish is for each I feel like they're just eh, okay like nothing super major about these ones and this one and the more that I rub it the more silvery it's coming off they work fine there's nothing truly wrong with them but I brought her first palette out I just feel like her first palette was honestly a little bit more oomph with the um shimmer shades like you can even see them here swatched on my hand and they just gave more of a punch like look at that I feel like you can barely even see it because it's so bright but I don't know, that's just me. Maybe the formula is meant to be a little bit more toned down. I'm not really sure. So all in all, it's not a bad palette. I just, I don't know, I guess I was expecting like every shade to be like buttery and smooth and like, yes. Especially because, I don't know, Jacqueline's all about that buttery, you know, type of thing. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's not the worst palette. I just felt like for her having her own her own formulation, which she talks about in her video, um, I felt like it reminded me of the James Charles palette, like the actual consistency, which again, not a bad palette. It was pigmented and everything. Just the shades aren't as buttery and soft. That's it. So other than that, though, I feel like the palette is great. I do like that she went completely different as far as like the last three-ish rows compared to her first palette. Um, I know some people were like, oh my god, it looks so similar. I have to disagree. I think that it does, it is different enough. And like always, if it would have been like an all bright out there kind of palette with no neutrals, people would have been like, oh my god, I need a neutral. So it's just like that constant trying to give what everybody wants in one 
palette which can be difficult um but I get it sometimes I'm like oh I want something that's like super bright and sometimes I want something that has like a few neutrals honestly as long as I have a good transition I'm good so yeah guys those are my final thoughts um you can pick up this palette on morphe.com for $39 um don't forget if you do go to morphe almost everybody has a morphe code except for me <laughs> um you can use code jack attack I know Manny has a code I mean I'm pretty sure almost everybody everybody has a code. So if you're still interested in getting this palette, don't forget to go to your favorite YouTuber and see if they have a Morphe code and you can save some money on it. But yeah guys, that is my final thoughts on the palette. As far as the foundation and the concealer, honestly, I don't think they're bad. Is it going to replace my Milani or my Dose of Colors? No, but it's a pretty good foundation. I don't think there's anything too bad from it or anything like that. Um, and then the concealer, I feel like it laid nicely. I was honestly a little nervous. I thought it might be a little bit dry. I don't know why in my mind that's just what I had. Also, I got this pack of glosses on Morphe's website. I did try on this shade right here, which is the shade that I'm wearing. And that is the shade Vibes. I just went with the Anamata Cosmetics lip liner and then applied the gloss right in the center and kind of let it spread out a little bit. But yeah, the gloss feels nice. It reminds me a little bit of Lunar Beauty glosses. I still like Lunar Beauty a little bit more, but it reminds me of that kind of vibe, like the way it feels. But yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you go because I feel like I've talked a lot already. Um, But I hope that you enjoyed the look. Didn't know I was going to go super bright, but I did. And I will see you guys in my next one. Adios.